Hey, I'm Davis Hammett with Loud Light. I can't believe I'm still making these videos, but here's what happened in the first week of the 2023 Kansas legislative session. The 2022 election season, which included a landslide victory for abortion rights, voters rejecting a power grab by the legislature, and all Kansas Supreme Court justices being retained, came to an official end on Inauguration Day, where Democratic Governor Laura Kelly was sworn in for a second term. While Democrats picked up a House seat, some moderate Republicans were purged in the primary, resulting in Republicans moving farther to the right and maintaining their supermajority control of the legislature. Last month, Kansas police arrested a terminally ill cancer patient on his deathbed and charged him with possession of marijuana, generating national outrage. Kansas is one of the only states in the country that hasn't legalized medical marijuana. With the governor and House on board, it seems certain to pass this year, until key opponent Senate President Ty Masterson removed senators from the committee working on the bill and declared it not a priority. The Kansas Bureau of Investigations concluded their four-year investigation finding that every Catholic diocese in Kansas conspired to cover up sexual abuse, involving nearly 200 clergy members. 15 victims died by suicide following abuse, and 14 priests should be criminally charged, but the alleged pedophiles are protected by the Kansas Statute of Limitations. A bipartisan group of lawmakers are introducing a bill to allow the alleged pedophiles to be prosecuted but Senate President Ty Masterson has made dismissive comments and he and Speaker Hawkins will ultimately decide if the bill gets a vote. The first two weeks, legislators are mostly holding informational hearings, but already several controversial bills have been introduced, including two co-sponsored by Senator Steffen and Senator Thompson. SB 20 would virtually abolish all vaccine requirements and require child care facilities to pay $25,000 to anti-vax parents if their child is rejected. SB 12 would make it a crime for doctors to provide certain health care to transgender Kansans under 21. Five years ago, Kansas faced a billion dollar deficit but Governor Kelly was largely able to repair the state's finances in her first term, paying back hundreds of millions in delayed payments, double counted money and debt incurred under Brownback. The state now has a record surplus of roughly $3 billion. The governor is proposing a variety of incremental funding increases in public services, funds to prevent a college tuition hike, cybersecurity and infrastructure projects, increasing special education funding, paying debts off early, and adding a half a billion dollars to the state's rainy day fund. The biggest fight this year, though, will be over tax cuts, with the governor wanting an immediate end to the food tax and Republican legislators eyeing income and corporate tax cuts. This is the start of our seventh year covering Kansas politics, and it's only possible through your support. If you're able, please consider becoming a monthly donor at loudlight.org donate. Stay tuned, stay engaged, and until next time, thank you so much, Kansas.